Oh my gosh, looks so pretty. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Emily, and today I'm gonna show you how to do a very simple tie-dye project at home. Uh, you'll need some Crayola markers, rubber bands, a paper towel, this is what we're actually tie-dyeing, and either a spray bottle or a bowl of water with a paintbrush will also work. So let's jump right in. So tie-dye is usually when you put dye on fabric and you get some really vibrant colors to blend together in some kind of interesting pattern. And then you can wash it and wear it. But today we're gonna do something really simple. And usually when we do this project with a group of kids, we do it over and over and over and over again because they love it so much. So thought this would be a great project for you guys to do today. So I am gonna take this and I'm just gonna show you the simplest way to do this. You can twist this in a spiral shape. You can do kind of where you go like this and twist the edges like this to make the spiral like you would on a t-shirt. You can do an accordion fold. You can do lots of different ways. But the simplest and easiest way to do this is to just take this and crunch it up into a ball. And to keep it in this shape, I'm gonna use my rubber band here. So I'm gonna take my rubber band and kind of put it on here. If I were to put this on, it probably would fall off at this point. So I'm gonna pull it and then I'm gonna, while my fingers are inside, I'm gonna twist it and make a number eight. You see how it makes an eight or an X shape? That means that it's really gonna be tight on there. And I'm gonna put it over there again. And that's probably good. Um, I'm gonna put one more on just to make sure it stays in this shape. I'm gonna take my other rubber band and put it on just like this. And once again, it's kind of loose. It could fall off in any minute. So I'm gonna put my fingers inside that loop, pull it out, twist. Now I know I did it right because I see that X or that number eight. And I'm gonna put it back on my paper towel. Okay, so this is your first step is crunch your paper towel up, get it into a ball, and then put some rubber bands on it. If you need help, you can ask your grown up to help you with putting those rubber bands on. All right, so now I'm gonna start to add some color to my paper towel. And the way I'm gonna do that is with my markers. I'm just gonna take the cap off my red marker and I'm gonna go with a rainbow pattern because that pattern will allow for colors to mix and make other really beautiful colors. If I were to put colors um, that are opposites near each other, it would make kind of darker shades. And I want this to be really vibrant and bright. So I'm gonna put colors that are next to each other in the rainbow um, next to each other on here. So I kind of have different sections. If you look closely, I kind of have four sections here. Um, so I think I'm gonna go by section. And the way I'm gonna put color on this is I'm just gonna take my marker and press lots and lots of dots of color. So I'm doing my red first. And something neat is that if you get bored of putting the dots on here and you're like, oh, this is taking forever, I can just even press this. And it doesn't look like I'm doing anything, but paper towels absorb, so it's kind of like it is just sucking all the juice right out of my marker into the paper towel which is great because it is really easy to do. I'm not even moving my marker and I know I'm working. All right, so I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm ready to add the water and have all those colors flip together. All right. So as I'm working right now, I keep looking at and inside the like nooks and crannies in there and putting my marker deep inside because that allows for more color to be saturated so that when I open my paper towel, I won't be surprised and have just like a bunch of white. Um, so I'm really making sure that I'm pressing my marker deep down into my tie-dye paper towel. And one other thing I thought that I should share with you is that any of the areas where there is a rubber band, it'll probably stay white. That kind of blocks the color from moving into that section. And something that might happen is your hands might get really messy, but that's okay. You can just wash them a lot. Um, it'll eventually come off. All right, so I just completed adding all the color with my markers to this paper towel. And as you can see, it's pretty saturated with color. There isn't much white left. And when I look, I kind of open up the little areas. I sometimes will see a little bit of white. 
Um, I could go back in and fill that in with a little bit more color or um, I could leave it white depending on how bright I want it to be. But the more color you add, the brighter it'll be. It can be really hard to wait at this part, but it's important to kind of just keep um, working and making it really vibrant. Okay. One other thing that would probably be helpful to have is like a big bin or a big bowl because when I spray this, some of the color is gonna drip everywhere and I don't wanna get my table all messy, so I'm gonna go get that. Okay, so now I am going to get my paper towel really wet and the more wet I get it, uh, the more the colors can spread and merge and make it look like real tie-dye. So I'm gonna take my spray bottle. Remember, if you have just a bowl of water and a paintbrush, you could use that as well, or you could even just kind of really gently sprinkle water on this. Um, I wouldn't just like put this under the sink and get it wet because the color will leave the paper towel and it won't be as bright. So um, I'm just gonna start to spray this here in my container. And I'll kind of turn it to make sure all the sides get an equal amount of um, saturation. Okay. So now I am going to get my paper towel really wet. And the more wet I get it, uh, the more the colors can spread and merge and make it look like real tie-dye. So I'm gonna take my spray bottle. Remember, if you have just a bowl of water and a paintbrush, you could use that as well. Or you could even just kind of really gently sprinkle water on this. Um, I wouldn't just like put this under the sink and get it wet because the color will leave the paper towel and it won't be as bright. So um, I'm just gonna start to spray this here in my container. And I'll kind of turn it to make sure all the sides get an equal amount of um, saturation. And While I'm spraying this too, I might even a couple times just give it a little squeeze to make help see how much color is spreading in here. Okay. We don't want it to be dripping wet, but we want it to be pretty wet because the more water that's in there, the more the colors are spreading and yeah, like, okay. So now I am gonna take the rubber bands off. Um, and I have to do that very carefully because this isn't a piece of fabric. Oh, I can see it's still pretty dry in the middle. So I'm actually gonna kind of hold this on here and keep spraying it. We don't want it to be dry in the middle. You want it to get totally saturated with color. Okay, I'm gonna give it a squeeze, kind of help those colors to all mesh. All right, and now I'm gonna very carefully take these off. And like I said, if you're kind of quick on this step, it could cause the, the colors up. Oh, I'm seeing that I still wanna add some color right in the middle here, so I'm gonna do that right now. Even after the paper towels are off, as long as you haven't opened it, it'll kind of keep that same cool design. Okay. So now I'm gonna open it up. Oh my gosh, looks so pretty. Look at that. And I have a beautiful tie-dye paper towel. And after this, you could hang this up somewhere um, once it's dry. I usually hang these outside um, if it's not too windy or lay it out flat in the sun. Since today's a beautiful day, it would be a great day to just lay it out on the sidewalk and let it dry. Um, because right now it'll just transfer a lot of color to your hands. So um, I hope you guys have a blast with this and um, please uh, put your pictures of your tie-dye paper towels in the comments. All right, I hope you guys